Badgers get their fourth win of the season and their second Big Ten win in as many games as Wisconsin knocked off Nebraska on Saturday night, 41 to 24. Jonathan Taylor, another 200 yard rushing performance, three touchdowns, one from 88 yards away. We'll recap Saturday night's game between the Badgers and the Huskers. Special weekend in multiple respects here in Madison as the 1993 Badger football team had a 25 year reunion, the first Wisconsin football team to win the Rose Bowl. We'll hear from Daryl Bevel as well as Reggie Holt and the head coach, the Hall of Fame head coach Barry Alvarez. And we'll have our weekly sit down with head coach Paul Christ. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Receivers to the left. Danny Davis out to the right. You have Ferguson, A.J. Taylor, Kendrick Pryor on the left side. Out of the shotgun. Hornybrook to throw. A little pressure coming. Alex Lowe's to the left. Ferguson the catch. At the 45. Turns it up to the 40. And Jake Ferguson down to the 36-yard line. Danny Davis to the right. Groshek remains in the backfield. Hornybrook remains in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Four-man rush. Alex fires over the middle. Caught touchdown, Wisconsin. Jake Ferguson, middle of the end zone, as the Badgers are in again, and it's 19 to three with 42 seconds left in the half. J. Taylor, wide left, handoff. Jonathan Taylor to the 20. There he is. He's breaking it to the 10, to the five. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor from 21 yards away, and a quick answer for the Badgers. The lead back to 16. Ben Shaw, Kyle Penniston. In there for Wisconsin as Hornybrook gives to Taiwan Deal over the left side to the 15 to the 10. Deal to the 5. Deal to the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Taiwan Deal from 20 yards away. And the Badgers pop it open here in quarter number three. Slot man now motions to the right. Martinez back to throw. Pressure coming down. He goes. Oh, that was big time heat. Put on by the Wisconsin defense on that play as storming in was T.J. Edwards. Eric Crookshank motions to the right. Here's the handoff. Jonathan Taylor across the 15, across the 20, 25, still up 30. There he goes. Taylor the 40, Taylor the 50, separates from the field. There he goes. 10-5, touchdown, Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor, 88 yards, and it's 40-17, to 17, Wisconsin. Pockets tight, ball's tipped in the air, picked off by T.J. Edwards, and he's all alone. In zone, it is caught for the touchdown. To the 20, to the 10, five, touchdown, Wisconsin. Pressure, and he is sacked just outside the goal line. A big, big win for the Wisconsin Badgers. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is presented by Mercedes-Benz. Drive yours at Zimbrick European. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available ProPilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. of Wisconsin. Eddie feels it. Kim embraces it. Even brother and sister get along. Friendship, warmth, and good cheer. That's Gamulakite. And that's Wisconsin. My salesperson is Joe Santowski. And from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own.
There is a boy who likes tractors and trains, a boy whose heart was far too strained. He was sick, you see, with a heart that broke. His heart needed fixing, his family needed hope. Enter our doctors with their newfangled tests. Enter our teams whose care is the best. Healthy and happy, the little boy's back, playing with tractors and trains on his track. UW Health and the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. Jonathan Taylor in the back. On second out, handoff Jonathan Taylor over the left side and down to about the one just inside. Review, the ruling on the field has changed. Touchdown, Wisconsin. What he said. There you go, so he's back in there for the first time since game number two, Jonathan Taylor from three yards away and it's 12-3, Wisconsin. Badgers approved 2-0 in Big Ten play with a 41-24 victory against Nebraska on Saturday night. Joined as always by head coach Paul Chris. I only mentioned this on the on the radio, but it just it, it just seemed like from upstairs that your big guys up front were getting getting some rhythm there as the first quarter moved into the second, so on and so forth, and maybe started to wear down a, a game Nebraska team coming in here. Yeah, I was proud of the way that guys played, you know, particularly up front, but then it. You know, you throw in the tight ends and the fullbacks. So the backs ran really hard, and I know we got some stuff out of our receivers, and it was big. I think we needed to do that, but it was, uh, you know, it was an interesting game, and I thought we had to, you know, be able to do a good job of trying to hold on to that ball and, and some big third down conversions that allowed us to do that. But, you know, I was I was proud of the way the guys played up front, and you know, JT had a great point. You know, so there was great communication, you know, between the line and the quarterback and, and the tight ends and play, guys were on the same page and and uh, I thought Rudy did a nice job of putting a plan together and, and most importantly the guys executed it. And that's another 200 yard game for Jonathan Taylor and yet you know Garrett Groshek comes in and helps Taiwan deal the touchdown run makes the highlight but he just he becomes a load tough for guys to bring down in time. Yeah he, he ran well and uh, it's been fun seeing the way that Taiwan's been playing and like you said I thought Grosh in the first half, you know, we had some of those uh, were kind of in a spread formations, and, and I thought he had some great runs. And uh, it takes everyone, and it was uh, it was fun to see, and it was important tonight. I thought he mentioned it was you know kind of an unusual game in that you probably never I don't know if a coach ever feels comfortable, but with Nebraska, you can see the weapons on offense right. with a good young quarterback, some really nice wide receivers. They can do enough to cause problems for any number of teams. They do, and uh, you know that's last week. You know we knew coming in they were an explosive offense, and and you said it. I think the two receivers are really good receivers, and and Martinez is he's tough to get down. And, and there were some times where we got some pressure on him, and then there were some times where he had a lot of time, and he extended it. He made some of that happen, and and that's hard to cover for that long. And and certainly in the back end, you know we played a lot of different guys and. And you appreciate the numbers that, that came, kind of stepped up and, and came in, but it was uh, it was a strange game that way. You knew how explosive they they were, and uh, we just had to keep battling. And that's why I was proud of the responses, you know, offensively. If you can answer a score with a score, that's big. And it was, uh, and yet, you know, that we came up with some big stops and also missed some opportunities. You know, we had the one scoring drive they had. I think we had a couple opportunities for for picks and. So you've got to be able to take advantage of those, but there's there's a lot of learning to be be had out there, and, and we just got to continue to improve. But yet, I think it was truly a team win, you know, in a, a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mentioned the guys in the secondary. You know, some guys went down. Caesar Williams uh, de didn't play. Deron Harrell had to leave. So you see, you know, Dakota went out. So you see a Seth Curran's. You see a Rashad yeah. Wild Goose, Dante Burton. You know, I guess they, they got to play sometime, right? They got to get right. in there by fire sometime. So be, I know it's next man in. I guess this yeah, is yeah, and, how and it works. Uh, you know, Goose, we wanted him to play, and we didn't know that it would be that early. And and boy, he played a, a ton of the game, and and even you know, uh, Madison Cone ended up doing some. You know, he's been our nickel and ended up playing some outside, and so a lot of guys had to step in and, and step up, and and hopefully they can learn from it. You know, there's some things that each one did well, and. And there's going to be some areas they got to continue to clean up and improve upon. You always talk about those opportunities to play, and there are only so many. And I, and I 
Andrew Van Ginkle really comes to mind when you say that now. He's given you what he can. No doubt. Not 100%, obviously, but somebody who just in, embraces if it's five plays, if it's 20 plays, he's going to give you what he has. And you truly do appreciate what he's doing. And, uh, you know, each week he's getting a little bit better, and, and uh, he does have a chance to impact the game, and that's where he can't wait till he gets back to being healthy. And, and I thought Zach Bond showed up and, and, and Johnny made some plays and and uh, again I you know wasn't uh, necessarily how you want but I thought TJ and Ryan both had their moments and and I know Ryan's a little disappointed he had the chance on the on the big sack and, and yet TJ had the one that was a huge stop and so you know guys are giving it they're all and they're putting it out there and we just got to continue to Build on things we're doing well, and we got to continue to get better. I saw David Boff running around out there too, and made the play on the did. on their yes, sideline, yeah. and that was that was good. And you know, every game like that, every one of those plays was they were big plays, and so um, you know, we just got to continue to keep keep working. And and uh, but I was proud of the way the guys fought and, and battled tonight against. Like I said I thought it was I know the record, but I thought it was a good Nebraska team coming in. I believe that even as much, if not more. Um, you know, after playing them. That's the thing. You always you find things to improve on, but you got to let yourself feel good about a, a win, right? You They're do. Easy. <laughs> you do, and you appreciate all that goes into it, you know, it, all week long and, and the preparation and, you know, players were going through and there's a lot of kind of the first round of, of exams and, and, um, and yet tonight they, they put it out there and, and uh, it's not easy to win and you appreciate all that goes into getting a win. All right, Badgers now hit the road. Another night game coming up Saturday in Ann Arbor as the Badgers take on Michigan. The game again kicks off at 6.30 Central Time. Coach joins us in a few minutes with a great day and great question of the week. Stick around. Ever since she can remember, she's wanted to become a doctor, a surgeon to be exact. Maybe it's because she's good at science or because she loves math, or maybe it's because Lydia was born with a serious craniofacial anomaly, a cleft lip and palate that required a series of complex surgeries. And now she just wants to help others, just like the surgeons at UW Health helped her. UW Health in the American Family Children's Hospital. Remarkable. It was real nice, uh, you know, to get out to open field, uh, stretch my legs a little bit. But, uh, you know, it was just a thing of sticking with the game plan, staying with the tracks, taking the five, taking the three. Um, eventually, you know, one is going to bust that, you know, it's just up to you then to make it count. I saw Aaron Cruikshank put a sweet block on someone, and then I just saw him take off. And when he finally realized that it's gone, and then I look for flags because, I don't know, I'm a Debbie Downer, and I'm like, no way, something had to go wrong. So I look around. There no flags, and then I just start celebrating. I thought he had an excellent day. You know, um, he he definitely hit some hoes, and when he broke the 88 yard one, that just fired me up because I love seeing him just roll. He's running 22, 23 miles an hour. It's just insane. I think it really speaks to the to the guys on the line and the guys blocking and the guys running the ball just all around. Um, I think it was just that time for us to do that, and with it being a trophy game, it just made it that much more uh, important. It means 370 rushing yards. It was a great job by the O-line today. It all starts with them. We're just out physicaling our opponent, and um, I think the backs did a great job as well as finding holes. However we need a win, we need, we'll do it, you know. Uh, but when you can see it, offense do that. That just shows us, like, like the potential we have. Like, we can be a great offense if we just we just keep working and keep grinding. Putting 370 on anyone is awesome, but like you said, Nebraska, I mean, regardless of what they've done to this point, their personnel is good, and they play hard, and they're physical, they're athletic, and they play in the Big Ten and all that stuff, so it's definitely not easy to do. So you definitely take pride in being able to do it, um, but we just kind of harness what made it go and make sure we move forward. We knew we had to do something after that, uh, after the loss. We knew we needed to figure it out. We needed to prepare even harder. We have to work even harder, go to the weight room even harder, like everything. And I think guys have been doing it. Uh, people have been stepping up. Um, things happened in this game and guys stepped up. So it, I don't know. I just think we all come together as a team when things like that happen. It definitely is, is a good day on the ground. And um, some things we left out there on the field, but at the same time, it, it signifies a, a good day on the ground. and. You know, you can kind of pat yourself on the back, but um, the next day, you know, you got to dive into the film and see, okay, where can we get better at? It's definitely a, 
a happy feeling, I'd say. Um, knowing that all the hard work you put in during the week showed up in, in the game, uh, it really is really something special. I think we just had 11 guys on the same page for most of the game, which is what you need. And then you let a guy like JT make his plays. Um, and it all comes down to finishing. I think we finish better, um, but I still think we can get better, you know, getting everyone on the same page, stuff like that. But it was still good to see. My salesperson is Joe Santowski. And from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own. <coughs> Flu season. It'll get here before you know it. Good thing it's never too soon to get your flu shot at hy V. Save yourself some worry and get your flu shot today. Plus, use your hy V Fuel Saver Plus Perks card and you can save 20 cents a gallon on gas. There's no appointment necessary, so why wait for the flu to get you? Visit your hy V pharmacy and get your flu shot plus your 20 cent hy V Fuel Saver discount today. Some restrictions apply. Did you know there's a Mahindra for everyone? and every job test drive and save during harvest demo days like a 6075 four-wheel drive a 9125 a 2538 or 2638 hst and a 1526 or 1626 hst and test drive mahindra's utility vehicles too only from the world's number one selling tractor mahindra hurry in for the best savings of the year at your wisconsin mahindra dealer it's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Over 70 members of the 1993 Badger football team came back to campus this weekend to be honored at halftime. Now, 25 years ago, Camp Randall looked a lot different, but the fortunes of Badger football were about to change thanks to one team, one season, one Big Ten championship, one Rose Bowl championship. That 93 team made an impact that echoes still today. It's, it's unbelievable that it's 25 years, actually. You know, it's, it's really cool to see all these guys, but it's amazing that time went by that fast. And um, it, it, some of the stories and things that still live on, it feels like it was yesterday. Well, it feels great to be back. Um, fortunately, um, we, we, we don't do this um, often enough. Uh, 25 years, as you said, is a very, very long time. But I'm just excited to be here to see some of the familiar faces that actually, um, you know, pulled this whole thing together. And then obviously we can see in, in the backdrop here the work that, that we've done. Uh, we're just very proud of this, this program and, and what it's accomplished throughout the years and just the consistency. Um, you, you can't say enough about that. It's one of the best schools um, in terms of football um, over the last, uh, definitely the last decade. And uh, we're just very proud of, of planting the seed and seeing the program continue on. This is a group that, you know, we went out and recruited. We had about three re weeks to recruit when I took the job. and and. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot to sell. You know, you weren't going to bowl games. The records weren't good. Facilities were marginal at best. And uh, we told them they could play soon and be the ones that turned the program around. And, and that's exactly what they did. You know, you got to go back to the season before, you know, where we had the, the loss to Northwestern and, and just the commitment that all the guys made. I mean, I think that's the thing that really stood out to me. And, you know, how many guys we had stay over the summer and how hard everybody worked to, you know, you could kind of see and feel that, that things were changing. And uh, it was, you know, it turned out to be that way. And I think it was because of that commitment, dedication that everybody had that summer. There were many, many um, points in that season that, that really kind of turned everything for us. Um, I, could, I could talk about the SMU game, which was really the first time that we actually had an opportunity to um, come back. Actually, we were, we were down, came out of the second half. We were able to turn that game around on the road. Um, and then, of course, I can think of Indiana. We were down in Indiana. We had to uh, make key plays and turnovers. We had lost to Minnesota. We came back. and. We found out, I can't remember which way it was, if, if like Ohio State, State beat Michigan and um, 
so it gave us a chance to still control our destiny. And we went to we went to, to Champaign, and um, I, I mean, we threw the ball all over them. We ran the ball all over them, and it was one of the best defenses in the in the Big Ten. And you know, that was really kind of you know one that signified to us. You know, we were we were pretty dang good. Playing Michigan State, obviously, in Tokyo, which was a great one of the greatest experiences of my life. They spent time with some alums over there. Uh, you know, they saw Tokyo and still were ready to play, and so. You know, that was really special. But, you know, you look at the Michigan game, that's the first time we'd beaten them in a while. And, and uh, you know, you go Michigan, Ohio State, back to back. I think that, that showed everyone that this, these guys were for real, you know, and you know, we can compete with anyone. And you can't, you can't not talk about the Rose Bowl, uh, which is the granddaddy of them all. We enjoyed that, that opportunity to play there, enjoyed our teammates, enjoyed the coaches in terms of what, what they all put together, and the rest is history. Bevel's got to scramble out of trouble. He's got a big opening at the 20. Bevel at the 15. Bevel at the 10. Bevel at the 5. Bevel's into the end zone! Darryl Bevel! That blazing speed takes him into the end zone. To know it was the first one in the school's history and, and you know, how long it had been since we'd been there and, and uh, you know, the, the, the fanatic fans that we had and how exciting everyone was and, you know, the, the, the rallying around the team and how many people went to, went to Pasadena. And, you know, I mean, it's just, a, yeah, I mean, it really is a, a storybook season. The first time around is always the best time around, you know. No one expected it. No one saw it coming. Uh, we knew because we believed in, in the plan that uh, Coach Alvarez and the staff put together. We believed in each other. Um, the fans were great that year. They pushed us. They propelled us to, to a great season. And um, But, again, you always fall in love with the first one. And, and, and so this team will always be special for that reason. <laughs> flu season it'll get here before you know it good thing it's never too soon to get your flu shot at hy V. save yourself some worry and get your flu shot today plus use your hy V fuel saver plus perks card and you can save 20 cents a gallon on gas there's no appointment necessary so why wait for the flu to get you visit your hy V pharmacy and get your flu shot plus your 20 cent hy V fuel saver discount today some restrictions apply it's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> They are the ones who found a way to isolate a single prostate cancer cell hidden amongst a billion healthy blood cells. The ones pioneering advanced genomic testing in order to create personalized treatment protocols. They are the ones you want to talk to when the diagnosis is prostate cancer. They are the physicians and healthcare professionals at UW Health and the Carbone Cancer Center. UW Health. Remarkable. The Learfield Director's Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Director's Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Director's Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. The Badger Sports Report with Paul Christ is presented by hy V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. hy V proudly supports the Wisconsin Badgers. And UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. Time out for this week's great day. And great question of the week comes from Mike over in Milwaukee. He wants to know, Coach, what was it like being able to see some of the guys from the 1993 Big Ten Championship team that came over to Friday's practice? It was, uh, you know, I think for our team, but personally, it was awesome. And, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to be in the state when that, and I could say the word probably magical year, you know, and, and what they did and what that group did. And, and I've been lucky to have coached with a number of the coaches 
and, uh, and then being around Joe Rudolph, who was a big part of that team, and and I think we all remember, you know, the the feeling that that team gave us. And what was also impressive was how many on that team came back, yeah. you know, and that that shows you that it was a special group, and to this day is still a special group. So definitely a, a team and an accomplishment worth celebrating. It's a bond, all these teams. You know, Tauscher was really, he was reflect, Mark Tauscher reflecting on that team. He's a part of two Rose Bowls, but there is there is kind of a fraternity there, isn't it? I mean, all you guys who've played, like it's, it's kind of cool to be able to, to touch base when you can. It is, and that's why I'm so thankful that when any of the players come back and, and you know, it was fun that, you know, we had guys in the NFL that have their bye week and they choose to come back, you know, Sitch and Foom was here and, uh, you know, James White came back and, Anytime that you get those who have played and want to take their free time and come back, and, and certainly you know the number of guys from the 93 team that came back, uh, that says a lot. And it's uh, they're the ones that helped build this place, and, and so it's worth celebrating. And and uh, it was uh, it was powerful. It really was fun fun to see a lot of those guys back here this weekend. Thanks for your question. The great day with four locations in Madison, east side of town, downtown Pittsburgh as well as Hilldale, Coach's Radio Show, coming up Thursday night at 6 at the Great Dane Hilldale. And, of course, the Great Dane up and running, alive and well up in Wausau. That'll do it for us this week. Badgers on the road, another primetime game, 6.30 Saturday night. Wisconsin against Michigan at the Big House. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Did you know there's a Mahindra for everyone and every job? Test drive and save during harvest demo days. Like a 6075 four-wheel drive, a 9125, a 2538 or 2638 HST, and a 1526 or 1626 HST. And test drive Mahindra's utility vehicles too. Only from the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. Hurry in for the best savings of the year at your Wisconsin Mahindra dealer. My salesperson is Joe Santowski, and from the moment I first walked through the doors here and he extended his hand to greet me, it's been the best relationship since then. He knows this brand and cars in general so well that I trusted him from the moment I met him. He was obviously so interested in exactly what I was looking for, what I wanted, but let me explore on my own. A pulse, felt by one, sends a ripple, felt by some, a shiver, felt by many, until it amplifies, magnifies into a tremor that electrifies, badgers everywhere, moving as one, tilting the world on its axis.